Hey guys! I'm so excited. I have mail. Can you just stay there? No, no, no. Hi Molly. Did you know that I have mail and that you're in the way of me opening it? You're gonna sit right there, are you? That's, that. This is super helpful, thank you. Can you just maybe not? So apparently Molly's gonna help me open the box. Now, I ordered two mystery boxes from a Australian company called Six Things. And um, it arrived today. Now they do kind of like gifts and homewares and you know the kind of thing where you go in and you're like, oh, this is a cute candle. And it's like $45 and you really can't you know, justify buying it, that kind of place. Um, and there's a cute little thing here. It says, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. Which I think is from, I wanna say it's from Alice in Wonderland, but I could be just dreaming that up. So one of the packages is, okay. It says, <laughs> it says, are you feeling lucky punk on it? This one is, can you just, it doesn't say it's for Molly. Look, it literally says for Alison on it. Yeah, it says it's for mummy, not for Molly's. Could you, okay. This one is for a TV slash movie pop culture fan. So we'll put that on there and I'll pull the other one out as well. Can you, hi. Can you leave my packages alone? And this one is slightly bigger, bigger, and it says spoil her on it. And these are, did I say the name of the company already? It's called Six Things. Can you sit down or something? <sighs> so which one do we want to open first? Do I want to be spoiled? <laughs> of course I do. Or do I want, let's do, let's do the, spoil her one first so but both of these were 55 dollars they do do a cheaper one which is 36 i want to say it might be 35 um <laughs> are you feeling lucky okay is that knotted no okay. no you can't eat the string Okay, this cardboard on top. I might turn it over. I can smell, there's a smell, so there must be something bathy or candly or something in here. Oh, I thought turning it over would mean I'd get to see what was inside, but I can't look. Oh, everything's super well wrapped cardboard and bubble wrap and it did say fragile on it so here's the actual <sighs> you smell something <laughs> I need scissors right okay so there are four little packages my birthday come early oh there's two things in here oh that's nice this is a rose quartz key ring and it says road court quartz gives love harmony and trust it's really quite weighty and it's got a little thing in it that says love ah oh, that's cute i'm gonna put put the things up here where molly was sitting because she can't get back up there and this is Oh, I think this is what I could smell. This is Banksia and Lemon Myrtle Hand and Nail Cream. And it says it is Australian made and designed. So that's nice. Got a hint of bergamot, lemongrass, eucalyptus, and gravilla. And 
and for something Australian made, it's got sloth monkeys and a leopard or something like it. Now, is this what I could film? No. It's got a little... No, that's not what I could smell. There's something else in here that smells. Okay, so that's nice. Yeah, it's Australian made and designed. Um, I might have a look through the website to see if I can find out how much all these things are individually so you can tell if you're getting good bang for your buck on one of these boxes after. I'm hoping... Ooh, some inside this as well. Ooh. What is this? Is this a... I think... It, oh, it's a plant pot. <laughs> I was like, is it for candles? It's got a little bunghole, bunghole. <laughs> it's got a little little blob in the bottom where, where you can unplug it so you can put a plant in it and then it drain out. Molly. <laughs> yeah. And some silica gel, which I shall put straight in the box so that somebody can't eat it. Look, that's all it is. It's a plant pot, yeah. Smell good. Okay, well I'm putting this up here so that you can't steal it. No, okay, you wanna help me? I sat on the floor so I had space to open stuff and... <laughs> uh, oh, it's not for you. I think this is, this is like a charmy thing you hang and it's got a little bell on the end. No, it's not a dog toy. Oh my God, they're both getting interested now. I swear, it's, I promise it's not a dog toy. It's for mommy. Yeah. Um, I like, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to put it up over on my uh, yarn wall somewhere. Put that in there. And Molly, that's not for you to steal, okay? It's not a thing for Molly's to steal. Just because it looks like a dog toy doesn't mean it is I've been thinking about ordering one of the dog boxes, but I think I'd still have to order two because we have two dogs and they're about $45 each. And I think that's an expensive gift for some dogs. Um, but there are uh, ones called, I think it's Bully Box and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I guess they could share, couldn't they? You might. No, no stealing. She's... Okay. It looks like an ashtray, but obviously it's just for like trinkets or jewelry or something. Like, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that's on their website where you're like, oh, it's really cute. But I don't want, like, I, you know, can't justify buying a little knickknack thing. So that's why, that's why I bought the mystery box so I could get some knickknacks and decoration stuff without going, oh my God, it's $20 or however much this is. Um, it looks like an ashtray, but obviously it's not an ashtray. It's just a little dish to put in. It's got a cute tiger in the box. You know what would go in that? Stitch markers. This is, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty heavy. This is the last one in here. And it's pretty heavy. Hopefully, okay, oh, there's two things. <laughs> oh, this is what I could smell. This is a mermaid bottle opener, look at that. It's really heavy and you're not gonna lose it in a I think it's like it looks like a bottle opener. I'm gonna have to make sure it is because this lip thing is quite thick. I'm not sure um, like it would actually lift a thing. Either way, it's pretty cute and it's very heavy. So, I mean, you could actually put it outside like on the, on the wall outside. Or something. Okay, this is the... This is the thing I could smell, and I ha assume it's going to be like joysticks or something, you know. 
along those lines and one of those things that you stick chopsticks in if I can get it open. It's gonna let more of the stank out. Yep. It's uh, one of those little joss sticky things that I, I, ca I don't know what that is. It's green, if that helps. It's green flavor. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, it doesn't say on it anywhere um, what the scent is, but if I can find it on the website, I will and, and put it in the text here, there. Yeah, does that smell interesting, Molly? No, I'm not hungry. Why are you flinching? Okay, here's the thing that smells. It's the thing that will cover the stank of the dog smell that is my entire house. My whole house just smells of dog butt, I swear. It doesn't matter how much you clean or how much you do, how many joysticks you buy, it eventually just smells of dog butt. Okay, so that was fun. All of that together was $55. And yeah, I'll have a look on their website and see how much each item was and we'll see if it was worth it um i think the little tiger guy and the little plant pot were cool and i quite like the mermaid oh i especially i especially like the keyring but i don't think that's doesn't warrant 55 dollars for a keyring but um i probably won't end up using the hand cream even though i've pulled the thing off it now so it'll stay in my house um and I'll use the little plant pot, but probably not for a plant because I kill things. Okay, this next one is the TV and movie pop culture baggy box thing. This is exciting. I haven't ever done anything with mystery. Like I had a mystery bag of yarn one time, but you could see all the yarn in it already. <laughs> And um, no offense to the lady that I bought it from, but I'm not a huge, a huge acrylic person. So it was very underwhelming for me because almost all of it was acrylic. And I was just like, eh, or cotton. And I, I hate cotton with a burning of a thousand suns. So this is way more fun, even if I can't get it open. There we go. I could have just reached out and grabbed the scissors, but yeah, no. What are you going to do? Oh. Okay. Another one that's very well wrapped. Okay, I can already see something that says Game of Thrones on it. And Okay, it's a mug is actually that way up. It's a House Lannister mug and it says hear me roar on it. That's pretty cool. Even though I hate the Lannister. I mean Jamie's alright, I suppose, in the end. That's cute. And it is a HBO licensed product, so that's good. You don't want to be buying any more coffee. Okay, here are items. A little rubbish again. Ooh. So we've already got a mug. How much is a mug these days? Like 20 bucks? One that's licensed, I mean, not. <laughs> Um, this is a mouse mat with, um, I can't remember what the movie's called, but it's got Bill Murray in it. I'll have to look it up. It's, uh, oh, This Life Aquatic, maybe? Maybe that was what it was called? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, and it's also got, uh, the dude, Life Finds a Way from... Jurassic Park. Oh my god, I can't remember anything this morning. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's got Steve, uh, it's a Steve McKellen in it as well. Unfortunately, I just did buy myself a giant mouse mat because I didn't have one and my mouse was not working that great. Okay, what's this now? Ugh. Uh, Sanji from One Piece. Um, I feel like this is something from like a anime or something. I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't know who this guy is. Let me put him on his head. Sandy from One Piece. Uh, focus, please. Can't get it to focus on him, but he's got like this odd pattern on his face. I mean, it's cute. I mean, he can go on my chart, my chart key shelf with the rest of the weird crap that I've got, including the. Uh, Felted penis. I will also look it up um, so we know who the heck he is. <laughs> because I haven't got the faintest idea. All I know is he's smoking and that's that. So he's probably a baddie. Are you gonna help me open the last one? Yeah, okay. That's cool. Um, this is um, a notepad with your man from Seinfeld on it. Um, I'm just doing that so the light doesn't shine on it. It's uh, lined and inside it says Happy Festivus. To celebrate the holiday season, a charitable donation in your name has been made to the Human Fund. Um, money for the people. So, charitable and useful. And there is a couple of little little bits and pieces left in here. So let's have a look. Oh, it's a little Alice in Wonderland bag. And it's got a... I'm going to take it out of the wrap because otherwise you won't be able to see it. <sighs> Rudely interrupted by my husband. Yeah, so this is... Um... What is he called? I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. The rabbit from uh, Alice in Wonderland. No, that's not for you, I'm sorry. It's, it's cute, but like there's a couple of little spots where the paint isn't great on it, which is sucks, but you know, I suppose it's mass made thing. And there is also, Some cute little, I think they're stickers. I hope they're stickers of um, like the little little creatures and critters from Alice in Wonderland. So there's the uh, the cat. Can you just chill, light? I might. I feel like I should turn the light down just so you guys can see. So that's the the, uh, the cat, and there's Alice and uh, the Mad Hatter and. Things. Do you know what? There's a mixture between old Alice in Wonderland and new Alice in Wonderland. Like you've got two different Mad Hatters in here. You've got this guy, which I think is from the newer, the newer movie. That one. And then you've got the uh, the old-fashioned Disney one. well so there's a mixture in there okay last thing which I think will end up being a gift for my child because he's obsessed with Batman oh okay not everything in this is gonna be a gift for my child hold on um, there is a Batman pin in here um, which he will love as well it's a, a badge made out of wood and it's in the Batman shape, so that's pretty cool. So he will like that when he comes home later. But there are also um a 
Now I feel like the Seinfeld thing was a joke, like a running joke, and it wasn't actually a donation in my name. <laughs> because this is a, well, like a funny card with the same thing written on it. See? Uh, so maybe that's a joke from Seinfeld. I've never watched Seinfeld, so it's possibly that's a joke from that, and I don't understand what it is, and I apologize to any Seinfeld viewers. Um, but yeah, there's like a load of little cards in here with funny sayings on. So there's the Happy Festivus one. And then there's one that says, um, it says, if you don't get my Harry Potter references, there is something seriously wrong with you, <laughs> wrong with you. <laughs> yep. And what else have we got? Alice and, oh no, Alice and Dorothy. <laughs> having a little chat and it says I've seen some weird shit. <laughs> having a commiserate together. And then there's one, oh, I can't remember what movie this is. It says don't dream it, be it. But I can't remember what movie that is. And then there's one that says, uh, it's, got, it's got Samuel L on it from, um, Pulp Fiction, and it says, say happy birthday again, say happy birthday again, I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker, say happy birthday one more goddamn time. So, that's gonna go in my husband's birthday card. <laughs> and that is it. Um, so this has been really fun. I'm gonna look up all the prices of everything on their website to see how much everything was, whether it was worth $55. Um, personally, I don't think it really was just because it wasn't anything that i need it was fun though and there are some really cute little things in there um and i will happily take the game of thrones mug and use it often and you know there are some real cute little bits and pieces in there that definitely will get used and definitely will end up in my home um but whether it was you know 100 percent worth it i don't know but we will look up the prices and find out if monetarily we came out on top, which I'm sure, I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure I did, but also it's not things that I would normally buy. So that's the problem with mystery boxes, I guess, because it isn't normally things that you would buy, which is half the fun, because, you know, I would never go, oh, I love this plant pot and buy it for probably $15 or however much it is but I might even get myself a cactus and see if I can keep it alive and put it in it because that's cute I certainly would never have bought this but it's fun <laughs> and is molting I don't know whether you can see that on the camera there's little bits flying off it but anyway I certainly wouldn't have bought myself joss sticks but they will certainly they will certainly cover the dog stank that is ground into every part of the furniture that I own. So this has been fun, hasn't it, Molly? Did you enjoy it? Didn't get anything? I think somebody wants me to get the bully box. You do? Okay, Mummy will go order you the bully box. Does Saffron get one too, or is it just one for Molly? I don't know why I'm doing this voice. <laughs> Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. Um, there are a bunch more things on the way for me to open and do stuff with. I also will get back to baking at some stage. Um, however, um, because I've got dry socket and, and a chipped jaw, eating is not that much fun for me at the moment. So I can't go, yay, cake. And um, so I haven't been doing those videos. Um, even like my carrot cake video, I have it, but I look so much like I'm not having fun, even though I love baking, I love making videos, and I love sharing my recipes and little bits of extras with you guys. Um, but like it was a week after my surgery and I just looked like I was having absolutely no fun in the video because I was in pain and I still am a little bit. Um, we have to now hold hands. Um, but it's not nearly as bad and I can actually talk now. Yeah, so I can actually talk now. So that, that's a mild improvement to where we were a week ago where it was just, everything hurts. But it still hurts to eat, everything kind of just hurts. Um, 
dry socket is a do you mind uh, dry socket is uh, apparently up there on the pain scale it's it's one of the few things that um, people will say it's a 9 or a 10 in pain so yay I don't know I don't know uh, if that includes also having a chip taken out of your jawbone at the same time as having dry socket or whether that makes it a 10 but me and the codeine based Panadol are very much friends at the moment um anyway that's enough about that but that's why i'm not making baking videos at the moment and it's not because i don't want to i would love i would love to eat some comfort right now but i can't enjoy it because it hurts and that's just that's just, it's, it just is what it is i guess at the moment but i have got some fun halloween content planned and i you can you take your big butt away from the friggin camera come here come here <sighs> so coming up we do have a little bit of halloween content and i want to make some cupcakes and stuff with my kid and i'm planning because we can't go out or anything for my husband's birthday and his birthday is the 27th to do a get dressed up and sit in the living room and watch scary movies <laughs> and eat Halloween food which I'm hoping I'll be able to share with you guys before while I make it um anyway <laughs> before Molly knocks the table over thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button it will really help me out um I'm hoping to reach 200 uh 200 I'm already at 200 to reach 1k subscribers and all that good stuff before the end of the year so if you could hit subscribe that would be awesome um unless i'm boring you in which case you've probably already clicked off this video <laughs> so it doesn't matter anyway oh and i'm also wearing that top from the kmart haul the other day i love it and that's the end bye oh i forgot to say at the beginning of this video this is 100 percent not sponsored i 100 percent bought these items uh these mystery boxes with my own money the company doesn't know i'm doing this review of their stuff and blah 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 but it is all um locally fairly locally sourced this came from the gold coast which is only a couple of hours away from me um but yeah they, it's not sponsored they didn't send it for free i bought it with my own money and all my opinions are my own so there we go